Hello friend. Uh, welcome to ashatech.com. Uh, once again in this lecture we are going to discuss a YouTube manometer uh, used before measuring uh, gauge pressure. Um YouTube manometer So in our past lectures we talked about uh, piezometers and the we use a YouTube manometer where a piezometer cannot be employed uh, because maybe uh, large pressures are required, for example, in lighter liquids uh, required to be measured uh, because this would require very long uh, <coughs> glass tubes which cannot be handled conveniently. Furthermore, gas pressures cannot be measured by piezometers because gases uh, form gases gases form no free atmospheric surface and therefore for these uh, limitations I mentioned uh, we can uh, employ a YouTube manometer comfortably for us to be able to measure large pressures in lighter liquids and also to overcome the limitation of no free atmospheric surface uh, which is exhibited by piezometers. Therefore, a YouTube manometer consists of a glass tube bent in a U-shape, one end of which is connected to a point at which pressure is required to be measured and the, the other end remains open to the atmosphere. Uh, the figures below show uh, a YouTube manometer to measure positive pressure in A and negative pressure in B. So these two are uh, uh, the all they are all uh, YouTube manometers, and the one in A is to measure positive pressure when uh, there is a positive pressure to be measured. There will always be a column uh, of the liquid in the right limb. Uh, then uh, if it is a negative pressure then instead of it rising it will actually fall uh, to the side of uh, the fluid whose uh, pressure is required therefore um, let us assume assume X, X as a datum let us assume X, X as a datum and uh, let us also uh, take uh, this, this information uh, first of all we must know that uh, pressures at the two uh, points which are at the same level uh, in a homogeneous liquid uh, are the same. So for, uh, for example, pressure at x, p, x, x in the left is equal to p, x, x in the right. So, having uh, taken uh, our assumptions and given the information that height of the light liquid in the left limb above the datum is H1, um, H2 is height of the heavy liquid in the right limb above the datum, and H is the pressure in the pipe expressed in terms of head of water. S1 is the specific gravity of the light liquid. S2 is the specific gravity of the heavy liquid. Therefore, 
for positive pressure uh, for example in the manometer A we shall first look for pressure pressure at XX in the left limb pressure at XX in the left limb is equal to is equal to is equal to PA is equal to is equal to PA plus the pressure due to column due to column height H1 of the fluid in the pipe whose pressure is to be determined so that means uh, PA plus uh, H1 rho 1 G so if we are to express them in terms of head it means that pressure at XX in the left limb is therefore equal to HA plus H1 S1 uh, H1 uh, times its specific uh, gravity and therefore this is our equation 1 so let us also look at the XX in the left I mean in the right so P X, X in the right in the right is equal to what is it equal to uh, atmospheric pressure being taken as a datum is equal to zero so it is going to be it is going to be P atmospheric plus um, the pressure due to column H2 of the manometric fluid so it will be H2 rho 2 times G so expressed as heads expressed as head uh, with the atmospheric pressure going to zero it means P X X on the right is equal to H2 times specific gravity of the manometric fluid and this is equation 2 so having taken our assumption that uh, pressure at two points which are at the same level in a homogeneous uh, a fluid or liquid uh, being equal then from from one equation one and equation two ha plus h1 s1 is equal to h2 s2 so since we need the pressure of the of the pipe or pressure at point a then let us make h a the subject of the formula so that h a is equal to h2 s2 minus h1 s1 for that matter therefore uh, pressure required uh, which is h1 uh, given all of this information we can be able to determine the pressure so <clears throat> uh, knowing uh, given uh, given density density and specific gravity specific gravity of liquid in the pipe 
in the pipe we can get pressure can get pressure in pascals in bars or just uh, in newton per square meter or if required if required uh, as head head of water if required as head of water then then retain uh, HA in meters so next is part B part B for negative for negative for negative pressure so pressure at x x in the left is equal to pressure at point a plus uh, pressure due to column h1 uh, that is h1 row 1 g plus the pressure due to column H2 of the manometric fluid. So it will be H2 rho to G. So given in heads, uh, in the head of water, then pressure at XX in the left limb will therefore equal to HA plus H1 S1 plus H2 S2. That is equation one. What about pressure in the right limb? So pressure at XX in the right limb, in the right limb, will equal to um, the quorum is zero. Is that we have atmospheric pressure? Then plus uh, the quorum due to the manometer and the quorum is zero so since pressure uh, due to the atmosphere is also equal to zero then pressure xx in the right is equal to zero that is equation equation two equation two so from the fact that the pressure at the same level at two points the uh, pressure at two points which are the same level in a homogeneous liquid is being the same then uh, from equation one one and two it means ha plus h1 s1 plus h2 s2 is equal to zero since we therefore need H A, then it means correcting uh, these figures, taking them to the other side, it will be a negative of H1 S1 plus H2 S2, as simple as that. So if it is required in terms of head of water, then retain H A in meters. If it is required in the in, in, uh, kilopascals or pascals, just use a hydrostatics row, hydrostatics row, so that uh, that pressure at A will equal to HA uh, row G. And therefore, it will be given in the pascals in a newton per square meter or it can also be given in the bus or in the bus thank you so much for watching for us in the next lectures